And needle dick news. Hmm. Needle, needle dick. Needle dick, needle dick, needle dick. Needle dick straw for sure. Oh yeah. You can't even see it. It's a coffee straw. Yeah. Submitted by Asian Parenting. Wonderful. Right. Oh, someone's gonna get slapped. A boy says he inserted a sewing needle in his urethra to keep himself awake for homework. Oh! oh what? what? Is this in Asia? What? Oh, this is one that hurts to hear wow. the headline. Yeah, that what? Sure hurts. Yeah, he shoved a sewing needle right up his dick. Right, 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 what? what? I've what? never... Black coffee? Like, what? I've never thought about shoving anything up any cavity, for one, and then much less the fucking pee hole. Nazis yeah. used to do that. Really? Yeah, they put shards of glass and like... In a dick? Yeah, for fun? Throw. No, torture. Okay, well yeah. <laughs> That's because... Just checking. I wonder why he went straight to the dick, because like, the first step is putting a thumbtack under your toe or some shit, right? Oh. People do that shit when they want to pass a lie detector or whatever. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I'm falling asleep and I'm driving, I roll the windows down and get cold air on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or something like that. I don't fucking <laughs> shove a knee up my dick. Yeah. <laughs> Punch myself in the wait, nuts. Hey, wait, what country? What? What Asian country? Let's all guess. Yes, yeah, China. China. I'm gonna say Japan. Ooh, I'm gonna say New England. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> He's like Boston. Uh, let's, no, let's it's go China. With, it's China. China. Is it China? Yep. Ooh. So it's China. So basically, what happened was uh, this boy. He's from Shanxi. Uh, which is a the new Marvel character of China. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Marvel character. <laughs> <laughs> he was apparently so desperate to stay awake doing his homework that he uh, took one of his grandma's long acupuncture needles. Oh. Just shoved it right down his urethra, uh, which is the sensitive tube, I've heard, uh, which urine is pushed out of the body it's through. Very yes. Wow. So it's not exactly clear how that helped him stay awake, but that's what he told his mom. The screaming. And, and so what happened? He had to get sent to the hospital? Or? Yes, he went to the hospital. What if he was like just trying to jack off and experiment with his dick, and then he was like, oh, I was just trying to stay awake from my homework. So you that, know what? That's what I, I, I actually, 50% of me believes that story. That's yeah. what I think. That's possible. How old is this guy? Is he like in middle school? Is he 12? 12. Oh. Yeah. Definitely, you definitely, yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. You're fucking around with your dick. You're trying to fuck needles. You're trying to fuck whatever. Uh, you can God fuck. damn it, dude! I feel I'm like, uh. I know. I tried fucking a magazine at twelve. What did you do? Roll up the magazine? Did you roll it up? Yeah, because I was already you looking the, at the girl. The American Pie. So I was like, I'll just roll it up, and you just try. No, this doesn't feel good. You just try different things. Did you try to fuck where the girl was? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Paper. That's the right idea. Like cheap you magazine you paper. Roll around where the girl was, yeah, and you stick your dick paper. in it. <laughs> no, it just didn't. It was just too hard. And you know when you're at that age, your dick's really sensitive. Mm, so yeah. it's like, it's, as soon as it was like one of the edges of the magazine touches it, you're like, oh shit. I'm surprised you didn't paper cut your. That's dick. what I just said. Paper cut. <laughs> it's like the most them. mild version of the yes, needle. Yeah. Say kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, you have no idea. So, um, so the mom of this 12 year old first noticed something was wrong when he refused to do his regular exercise session after lunch. And she made him go outside. It's regular exercise session. Was he still in so there? So he was stuck, he had the needle stuck. No, 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 no. He has an exercise session. Yeah, it's like, we're missing I'm that I'm in so much pain. Yeah. <laughs> she made him go outside and join her for a walk to, comp to compensate for the missed workout. And she noticed him walking much slower than usual. He's on a regimen. Yeah, dude. Right? Uh, and the mom thought maybe he's throwing a tantrum, maybe he's just pissed off at something. So she beat him, and then that didn't work. So she's like, now what's really going on? She's like, I'm gonna put a needle in your urethra. <laughs> oh, there's already one there! <laughs> Whatever, however she got it out of him, she got him to confess that he put a uh, metal needle up his urethra to, oh to keep himself God. awake during homework is what he said. And now it's worldwide news. Right? That's crazy. They don't have the boy's mom, name don't in there. Mom, tell no one, mom, please. And then it, it fucking becomes worldwide news, man. Yeah, how did how did the mom break this to the world? Like, hey, my son, hey, news, news, news reporter. I know. My son stuck a yeah, fucking needle in his pee hole. I, I think, you know, like, so the doctor probably leaked the information. So, yeah, so when, after the son told her that, she took him to the hospital. The whole hospital started talking. <laughs> like, you're all fucking laughing. But what is, how does this work in China? I mean, they probably don't like have any confidential. Story, right? They, they probably don't have like the, the patient doctor confidential. They don't have, no, you're, they don't take the Socratic oath. They have the Confucius oath, which is, bitch, if you fucked up, you fucked up. <laughs> so the surgeon there at the hospital found the needle so far up the boy's oh urethra. Oh, it's still in there. Close to his bladder. Oh, he stuck it up too Damn. far. Yeah. It was a 10 centimeter needle. Oh, God, oh, Jesus that? Christ! It's like three or four inches. The whole size of his dick. Yeah, and and basically the, a lot of people don't buy the boy's story. Oh yeah. 
Uh, because oh, they think it's child abuse? He's no, they think that he was trying to fuck around and... Yeah, yeah. Well, like you, he was jacking off, right? Your pain threshold has to be so fucking yeah. high. Right, if you get yeah. if, you, if you get chlamydia, right, isn't that how they treat it? They have to yeah, they they, they stick they, something in there to check. the medication goes through the urethra. So oh we my should, god! If anyone out there has gotten chlamydia and has gotten something in their urethra, please yeah. verify oh, right. the pain. I didn't have chlamydia, but I did have kidney stones, and they had to yeah. shove a camera all the way up my urethra. You don't numb it first, or you take? No, oh, they the, did. I, I was passed stones. out. They never yeah, did yeah. that. But they shoved a camera up there and then they blasted my kidney stone out. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and then they left a stent in there to collect all the particulates. Yeah. So I had to basically, for a week I had like a tube sticking out of my dick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did it hurt to pay? Oh, it was nuts, dude. And oh, even yeah. now, it's been, uh, you know, what, uh, eight months since then? I can still, when I have to go to the bathroom and I'm holding it, I can still feel where the stent was. Like on the yeah. side of my body, like phantom yeah. pain. Yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah. Uh, there was so much pain. I took a muscle relaxer in school one time, and uh, for fun? No, just well, you know what? I was trying to like, I thought it was gonna help me focus, and um, about an hour later, I was on the ground, and I was like, yo, I need to get something to eat because my back just kept hurting, oh. and uh, I went to get food. I couldn't hold it down, so then I found myself like just kind of walking in a circle on my side and I went to the hospital because I was like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. They told me I had kidney stones yeah. that were trying to like break down through the urethra. Yeah, my college roommate yeah. had kidney stones. Was it stones. painful like a yeah. motherfucker? Was... From the muscle relaxers? Yeah, Did... I don't know. No, 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 no. I think I was dehydrated. been there before. Yeah. Did you pass them? Yeah, I passed them. It didn't you didn't hurt. have to get surgery? It, no, That's it didn't hurt or anything. just popped out of your fucking dick like I was a... so scared to pee, they gave me like some numbing shit, and I was like, fuck, I don't want to pee, I don't want to pee, because I don't want to, I'm just imagining like fucking rock rocks rock coming out my dick, yeah. When the but pain, it, when the pain happened, could you even move and shit? No, Yeah. I, it was hard for me to move, but I, I peed it out, and like, I guess they were just like, Crumbs or dirt or something. I don't know, but I didn't feel anything. I pictured a marble. I yeah. Shooting oh, out and then you hear that noise in the toilet. By the way, it's so small. They're like they're so small when you look at my. But they get they can they get, get really huge. big. But that's when they gotta blast them, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My college roommate had it, and it was after a night of drinking, and so we were like, ah, you're hungover, and he's like like a dog. He's just rolling. Oh, oh, and I'm like, I was like, oh, he must be throwing up. He's like, Tush. And I'm like, you right? Damn. And we were like, we need to go to the hospital. Yeah. And then yeah, he was like, he they, couldn't stand. They said it's equivalent to like, um, like, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Damn. So the takeaway lesson here is tonight, get this, and what? It, how do we prove? Stay hydrated. Drink water. Drink water. Drink lots of it's water hereditary. And don't stick. Meat. It's hereditary. <laughs> As he takes a drink of it. <laughs> we're all wrong. No, the doc told me straight up. He's also had kidney stones, and he said. It's hereditary. But Nikki said only one of the four doctors said that. The other three were like, it got a yes. The other three had never had it before. And they didn't say stay hydrated. Only one of them said that. What it is is like they, the, the stuff in your kidneys becomes calcified, calcified. which makes it turn into that. I, I don't know, but I just keep them clean. I flush my kidneys out. I'll drink water all day just okay. so I can never feel that again. How long has it been since you had that? Uh, maybe 10 years. So that's what happened to me. It was on the 10th year that I got it again. Oh, you had it then ten years ago? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to get it every ten years. Or no, no, no. It's just like did they blast it the first time? No, I passed them the first time. The first time. Yeah. Second time is when I had to get it surgically removed. Well, guys, uh, let's start the countdown. So. There's got to be a way you can flush it out <laughs> frequently. He's been What's your ten year water. anniversary? He's been drinking water, so he's water it. doesn't do shit. I'm telling you, what I I've done the same thing for ten years, bro. I'm a guy of routine. Drink monsters for ten years? Yeah, fuck yeah, I have. Ever since my improv days, that's when I first got hooked <laughs> on monsters. So doing that shit for ten years, I'm telling you, bro. It just, it's just hereditary. Does it run in your family? No, I don't it think so. It's dehydrated. You don't know though. It I could mean, be I... a grandpa had it, your grandma had it. My grandpa had them big time, and my mom had them when she was giving birth. <sighs> they all drink Monster, huh? <laughs> <laughs> my grandpa drank, no, no, no. my grandpa drank alcohol. <laughs> That I'm sure helps. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think this kid though, back to the guy that stuck the fucking needle in his dick, I think he was masturbating. Cause I, I've been thinking about it. If your dick you is soft- You wanted to put that in? Oh. No, 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 thinking about what he was doing, I'm like, if your dick is soft, I mean, how do you, like, I mean, your dick would have to be yeah. erect, you know, for it to have a straight shot down the yeah. center, you know? What if he was like, kind of like, slowly looping it in like that? Do you think he disinfected the needle? Everything oh, yeah. along the way. Do <laughs> you think he was heating it up? 
disinfecting it. He's like, I'm gonna do this right. I'll call swab. KY jelly. Yeah. He's like, let me loop it up. I just think he should have been honest and, and told his mom. He's like, you know what, mom? I'm a pain slut. Good. Mm, <laughs> See. Good. You know what, mom? I'm trying to grow my dick right now. I'm trying to be a man. Maybe he's trying to keep it hard. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty tight. Make it bigger. I mean, who knows? A 12 year old's mind is fucking crazy. Yes. The darkest depths. <laughs> the darkest depths of the that's human psyche. A 12 year old boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not like fucking pierce my dick. How'd you get your ear pierced at 12? No, I was asking. They're oh, like, I they were like 13. I was like, oh. He's a gangster though. He's like, I want to pierce my dick because I'm a fuck them girls good at 12 years old. What kind of porn are you watching, man? <laughs> dude, Damn that's kid. crazy, dude. Dude, he's into f some pain shit, I think. He must. You have to be. Yeah. Because you start with like, you know, I'm going to take, you know, paper clips and clothes pins and just like pinch myself and be a dumb kid. And you're like, no, I'm going to take a Yeah, because there is that whole thing where people get horny off of pain and shit. Yeah. Or like, step on the balls, bitch. Yeah, the ball busting. Yeah. Dude, he's like, when my mom yells at me, I get hard. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> What's next? <laughs> how do I take it to the next level? That's how we got here. Wow. Damn. Well, he must have put other things in there and was okay. Legos. Whatever. Yeah. He's fucking 12. How big, how big were your Legos, dude? I don't know. Man. You seen that shock video? No. I think it's like, uh, kids in a sandbox. I think. Oh, yeah, I've seen it, you asshole. Be oh. It's gotta yeah, be yeah, fake. Sure did, Which one? Wait, what is this one? Am, am I allowed to say it? Can I say it? Yeah, please, please. Oh, okay, so basically it's this guy, and there's a girl, and she has a dildo, and it's like a normal looking dildo, and she's shoving it into his penis through the urethra. <laughs> and he's loving it! He's shoving a dildo up his urethra? Oh, yeah, the girl, the kids in a sandbox. But it's don't fake. Don't look it up then, obviously, <laughs> fuck. It's gotta be fake. It can't, I don't think I, I remember one time, you don't think it's fake? How can you fit a dildo through no, a dick? I think, I think it, it has to be because it, it would cause too much like structural damage. How big is his hole? Maybe he just doesn't yeah, care. I don't know. How big is his dick? Then. I'm gonna call my dad and ask him right now. Your dad knows he's got all the hot shit. No, I just <laughs> ask him. I'd be like, what is the object? What's the maximum object size? Your dad's like two girls, one cup. That shit's. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he'd be like, what? He'd be like, what? He'll definitely if I call him and put him on speakerphone. He's like, Dad, I have a question. If I were to stick first, I don't even know if you would know what a dildo. You want to call him, put him on speaker right now? That'd be tight. His dad's a doctor. Let's see it. Both of his parents are doctors. <laughs> he must know what a dildo is if you if you say uh play. By the way, he's going to be utterly confused. Perfect. And he's I wanna hear Please. from a doctor. Yes. I've listened. Okay, right. You don't know. This is our first light in JK News live. call. Live. Yeah, live. I don't think if I should call my mom. Because she might be waiting to ask a doctor a question on this I'm fucking call, show. I'm gonna call my mom. Because okay. the internet knows my mom better than my okay. dad. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. my dad will just call me an asshole and hang up. What are her credentials? <laughs> she she's a radiologist. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll know more than I would. They're both doctors. This is great. <laughs> mom. Hey mom, uh, so I'm I'm live right now on a on a, a YouTube show, and I have to ask you a medical question. What? <laughs> no, I gotta ask you a medical question because this we. Wait, you dude, I'm gonna ask you the question. It's just some stupid news article about some stupid kid doing stupid shit. But you gotta just answer medically, okay? Don't yell at me. No, I know, but what is it about? I'm gonna tell you right now. So this kid in China took a acupuncture needle. Is dad with you, by the way? He's outside in the garden. Like go get him, go get him, go get him. Like, run out, run, run, like your life depends on it. I'm, I'm upstairs. Okay, anyways, this kid took an acupuncture needle and shoved it in his urethra. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, our question is, what is the biggest thing that you can put in your urethra? before basically splitting your penis in half? Well, you know, when we do a catheterization, you know, we put a tube in the urethra. Oh, right. The yeah, but how big is the tube? What's the diameter of the tube? Uh, I have to ask that. Church? Ask her about the dildo. Can she, can we, can we get <coughs> a dildo? Dude, I don't know. Gotta, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm gonna ask my dad yeah, that question. Yeah, I have to ask that. I don't know, it's raining and I don't know where he is. <laughs> Have dad call me back. <laughs> Immediately. Tell him it's an emergency. <laughs> Ask him if he can fit a double sided dildo. Tell him I'm gonna go back to med school. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me ask dad. Dad. Dad, no, seriously. I got a serious question. You're gonna think it's stupid. It's a medical question. 
It's a medical question. You're you're live right now on TV, on internet TV. So there's a kid in China. He stuck an acupuncture needle in his urethra. Okay. We want to know what's the biggest object you could stick in your urethra with uh, before breaking your dick in half. Dick in half? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, like, <laughs> like uh, no, like you know what I mean, like. <laughs> One oh, centimeter. Yeah. So, like, if I wanted Whoa. to take an object that was like the size of a banana, cucumber. No, banana is not a one centimeter. Banana is a two inch. <laughs> two two <laughs> inches. He's two inches. So you're saying one centimeter is the max. I can't get bigger than that. No, no, it's not the max. See, when you lubricate, you can put easily up to two centimeters. And it's a soft tubing too. No, so need not be soft. <laughs> Did you get a dildo up there? He's not gonna know what that is. The reason is because when he does, it's just Wait, I, Dad, you know what? A, do you know what a dildo is? Doctor, do you know? What? A dildo. Do you know what that is? What is dildo? That's exactly what I thought. There you go, people. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank awesome. you. That was awesome. Doctor, <laughs> like, what is dildo?